while working with VMware ESXi evaluation trial license. One of the biggest challenges that one faces is when the evaluation period of 60 days expires and all the VMs and services will stop working until you install a license. However, that may not be the precisely correct statement. The correct one would be that VMs continue to run, but after shutting down the VMs, you cannot start them. And in fact, you cannot change the configuration of features either. Well, we have some good news. The trial license can be reset and ESXi VMware setup can be reused for another 60 days. Interestingly, I haven't faced any challenge even after resetting the ESXi evaluation license at two occasions. Though the usage was only for personal and home testing purpose only. Next, coming to the focus area of our discussion. And yes, this is true. We can reset the ESXi by issuing simple commands that initiate rather reinitiate the counter of 60 days for evaluation license. Let me show an easy way to extend the license expiration period or the reinitialize way of the counter back to 60 days. Here we can see notification on the VMware ESXi for the host which says your evaluation license for ESXi has expired. In order to reinitiate the evaluation license, login or let's say we can SSH into the ESXi host and issue the following commands. The first command is rm space slash etc slash vmware slash vmware dot lic second command is rm space slash etc slash vmware slash license dot cfg third one being ls space slash etc slash vmware slash and the last one is the reboot the above commands need to be issued one by one Let's go into SSH and see how to issue and verify the four given commands. The first command to be issued is rm space slash etc slash vmware slash vmware dot lic. After issuing this command, hit enter and the system will prompt you whether this license file needs to be removed or not. In this case, type yes and hit enter. In order to ascertain that the file has been removed, again type the same command and hit enter. However, here you will receive the error message which reads no such file name or directory, which confirms that command for removal of license file has worked properly. Next, in the command rm space slash etc slash vmware slash license dot cfg hit enter and confirm yes and follow the same procedure as last command to ascertain that, that the removal of license dot cfg has happened in the third step we issue the command ls space slash etc slash vmware slash and we will see list of many files Make sure that vmware.lic and license.cfg is not present in the list. These files were deleted in first and second steps. Once confirmed, we move to the next step of issuing the reboot command. Now that the reboot of system has completed and next we will log in to the GUI of VMware ESXi and check the license tab. Today, I am on end of March 2022 and the expiration date after 60 days is 30th of May 2022, which is shown here. Hence, this confirms that counter for evaluation license has been reset and date extended to another 60 days. So, friends, 
प्लीज इंजॉय नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी डेज ऑफ अनइंटरप्टेड लाइसेंसिंग बाय वी एम वेयर थैंक यू